Hey, what's going on, my friends? It's Daniel. How's everybody doing out there? I hope and pray all my friends are doing well. Much love. I'm doing good. Uh, I wanted to take a little bit of time. wanted to share with you part two to the dinosaur bones, my friends. Some of you may have seen, I shared a video about two weeks ago or so, uh, sharing with you I had come across some uh, pretty cool pieces, some dinosaur fossils, as it appears. I did uh, happen to be able to stop by that site again this week. So I, I gathered up another about handful worth of pieces that I was able to find. It's been raining a lot, so it's been, uh, you know, loosening up a lot of the things from underneath the surface. So anyway, I wanted to take a little bit of time, share with you some more pieces. Some of them I find to be pretty fascinating. So let's do it, my friends. Part two to the dinosaur bones. All right, my friends. So just to show you real quick, this here was part one of our findings here pieces we found on the surface of the earth. Here's some of those pitted pieces you can see. This was like the second piece that I found here. I think the coolest ones out of this find was uh, the one where you could see the spine. Let me see if I could locate it. And also this piece here where you could see that surface really well. I thought that, that was really cool. But then there's the spined one. I don't know if I can locate it. Um, seems to be hiding from me. Um, but we found some pretty cool pieces in that first, first find. This was the very first two pieces I found. I was able to glue them together. You could see that there's other pieces that look just similar to this one. It doesn't take on the pink white looking color. But it is also very cool. Um, yeah, I can't seem to find that spined piece. It's here somewhere. But anyway, here's part two of our pieces here. And we're going to go through them here. You can see this one takes on that same shape as the one I was just showing you. They even feel the same. As far as their surface, you can see the marrow on some of these pieces really well. Um, you can see the marrow on that one. It seemed to be losing focus a bit. This big red piece here is pretty interesting. You can really see like the surface there. Very interesting. Same with this one. Some of this stuff, I almost thought it was petrified wood, but after further looking, it's definitely, uh, you know, some kind of creature. Some pieces here, you can almost see, have a resemblance or a line up to each other. Same with some of the pieces from the first pile. Um, for example, this piece here had another piece from the first pile that looked pretty similar if I could locate it real quick I'll show it to you right here so you can see that some of them again ain't much to look at so some of these thicker pieces you kind of see there's really not much you probably see it's more the interior part of the beast um, here's that one that takes on that shape like we've seen see the marrow there real well on this piece but again several pieces coming from like that same region of bone there you can see so uh, here's some it's kind of beat up you can't really see the pits as you can on some of these other pieces like these um, here we got a white one 
very interesting you can see kind of again like a almost takes on that like leather surface look really smooth that one's really not much to see with that guy uh, this one I believe was polished really well by the tumbling uh, in the sand and whatnot it almost looked like petrified wood uh, and it may well be it's kind of hard to say with this piece but uh I went ahead and brought it with the collection this one you can see it's cracked quite a bit but it still takes on that that leather look like we've seen with these other pieces kind of like this you can see the detail there in both of those here you got another part going down into the interior um i've been looking into you know somewhere i could take these and whatnot uh definitely fascinating stuff though and uh with it been raining a lot and whatnot it's been pulling some of that stuff up you know it just washes away and uh here's another piece that's real smooth like that other one the first piece i glued together i mean it even feels the same you can see the marl going there and marl's there so I don't know it's very you can feel the, the the shaping of the bone the curvature here's a real thin piece you can see the marrow in it a little bit right there on the edge so this was a really cool piece I thought was one of the coolest pieces of the whole find you see how it's got this blue on it smooth smooth stone here and uh i thought that that was really cool um along with it was this piece i don't know if you can see it but again really cool piece it's really smooth um it's got that blue that white very interesting piece there um, this I believe uh, w looks like um, I'm sure my, may have, some of you may have seen these on wood fences and stuff uh, but it looks like what may have been a oh, what do you call them like a cocoon that's the word I'm looking for a cocoon Seems like that might have been a cocoon. Uh, here's another cool piece. It's getting dark on me, but I hope you can still see some of this. You can see the marrow really good on that one. The interior of the bone there. Again, here's another shaped piece. Real smooth. And then it changes shape right there. You can kind of see it right there. Again, reminding me of this piece. They take on that same feeling, that same shape. So uh, some of these, again, just tiny little pieces. Ain't much to see. You can see the marrow on the end of that one real good. Again, not much to see with some of these you can kind of see some of these smaller pieces now but the coolest one out of this fine along with that blue piece right there this one I believe is this right here which I believe is either a tooth or a claw I hope you can see that all right but it too has like that blue polished look but it just reminded me of like a claw you know, like the claw or maybe even a tooth of a creature. Because it does have to seem like an interior root system on it there. 
but uh, whatever it was, I believe it's either the tooth or the claw of whatever this beast was. So there you have it, my friends. Um, part two to what I believe is a prehistoric dinosaur killed by Noah's flood. So anyway, I wanted to share it with you. And, uh, you know, God willing, I'll continue to walk around in the area when I'm given the chance, when I'm passing through. And uh, see what else. The pieces just seem to keep getting cooler. And who knows what else we will find as we walk around in the desert of the Southwest. So much love to you, my friends. In the name of Jesus Christ, I hope you all are doing well and uh, seeking him while he may be yet found. Uh, you know, all this stuff is cool. But uh, it doesn't compare to the things that are of the kingdom of God, my friends. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And uh, I hope you guys have a great week. In the name of our King. Later.